change in state. Have you seen a substance converting from solid state to liquid state or from liquid state to gaseous state and reverse? Of course, we see all this around us every day. For example, if we consider ice, ice is in the solid state. In the freezer, if suppose the temperature is 0 degrees Celsius, the ice, in the ice is in the solid state. Now get the ice out of the freezer. The temperature outside is about 25 degrees Celsius. That means the temperature has raised now. So the ice starts melting and it converts to liquid state. That is nothing but it converts into water. Now when we have water and we heat the water, we raise the temperature of water and it converts to water vapors. That is it goes in the gaseous state. So that means any substance can go from the solid state to liquid, from liquid to gas and so on. Okay, the change of state as we've seen is because of temperature change. If the temperature of the solid increases, it changes to liquid state. And if the temperature of liquid increases, it changes to gaseous state. And if we increase the temperature of the gas, it will change to plasma state. Now suppose if we have a gas and we decrease the temperature of the gas, it will come back to the liquid state. And if we decrease the temperature of the liquid, it will come back to solid state. For example, if you have water, the water right now is in the liquid state. Suppose the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. And when you keep the water inside the freezer, the temperature goes down to 0 degrees Celsius and the water freezes and it comes to the solid state. Now what happens when we increase or decrease the temperature of a solid, liquid and a gas? We are actually giving energy to them. For example, if we have ice, ice is in the solid state. When we heat the ice, we are giving it heat energy and the particles kinetic energy starts increasing due to which the particle starts moving and they convert into the liquid state. And when the liquid particles are heated, they are given heat energy due to which their kinetic energy increases and they move far apart and convert into the gaseous state. But when we decrease the temperature of a gas, the particles lose energy and they come closer to each other and they convert to the liquid state. And when liquid particles are cooled down, they again lose the kinetic energy and come to the solid state. 